guys, welcome to another Sunny Side Design video. Today we are in Little Miss's room and we are going to give her a room makeover. When we moved into our home, she was just three, so she's kind of outgrown her previous room. We've already got all the furniture and the decor taken down, and we're just going to show you step by step what we're going to do to transform this room from patching holes to painting to getting it all done. Yep, and she wants a big girl room. She's tired of the pink. Yes. I know she does have blue walls, but she had a lot of pink in here. So she wants something a little more grown up. So yeah. we're gonna give that to her. To putty the holes, we like to use this dry duck speckling. It is pink and when it dries, it turns white. So it's really easy to tell when it's ready to go. And kind of the key to speckling is less is more. So just put a little dab on there and scrape it clean. Before I did that, I also did go around to the holes first and I just scraped them like this to get off any of the drywall that had peeled off. So you can see that's not like a perfect hole. So just again, push it in and scrape it off. Super easy to do. Now the spots we have filled in with the pink putty have dried. You can see that it turned white. You can take a little piece of sandpaper to smooth these out, but we like to take a wet washcloth and just wipe. Super easy. Then you're ready to paint. Another step for prep work for painting is checking the caulk work. Caulk? Caulk? I don't know. In Utah we say caulk. So you can correct me if you want. But we have our caulk gun here. You can see where it has kind of split away from the wall here. So rather than just adding a new layer of caulk on top, we are going to take a sharp blade and just slice it where it meets the wall. This will let us remove this strip that's coming off. And then we'll lay a new layer of caulk on. we can just stick this knife okay well it's coming right there too and just peel this right off it's kind of lifting off the wall there too so we'll just pull off all this loose stuff take a putty knife and just get off any other loose areas that may not have pulled up. Okay, wipe that with a rag. Now we're ready to run a new bead of caulk along this edge. They do have these tools you can pick up. I think I grabbed it at Home Depot that smooths out caulk, but you know, I prefer my finger. I really do. It's easy. Does dry your hands out a bit, but you get a beautiful finish. <clears throat> we want to show you some of our best painter's gadgets that really make painting a lot easier. First, we have um, some movers bank blankets that we use as a drop cloth. You can get them pretty cheap at your home improvement store. They stay in place really well and they are thick, so they really soak up paint if you have any spills. Next, we like this little pour bucket. It has a handle. We like to put a little bit of paint in here when we are going up and down the ladder painting um, like the corners and trim work. And it has a magnet in here too, so it holds your brush for you, stays up out of the paint, doesn't get paint clear up into your ferrule. So this is really handy. And then this little yellow pour spout. These are like 98 cents and they are the best 98 cents spent. 
helps you pour your paint without getting the little groove in your paint can all gross and you can just wipe off excess and it fits gallon size quart size it fits everything so they're really nice to have now we're ready to get started with our painting so first of all the quality of a brush is so important pretty i don't know if you can read that there but this is our favorite brand well, you might see it better right there anyway but we like to have a nice angled or chiseled brush. It gets in the corners nicely. And we'll show you a little bit of prep work we've done already. We have masked off the um, molding at the carpet. We've actually stuck the tape underneath the molding. And we'll show you our little tip for painting the molding without getting the carpet or worrying about the carpet. So we have a large putty knife here. And we're gonna stick this right underneath the molding. I'm gonna try to get it right in the corner. And then, you wanna load your brush. Less is more because you don't want it running, but you'll just take it and run right along the edge of the putty knife, and then you can remove it. So you have a nice crisp line. You don't have to worry about the carpet. And then you can come up and get the other part of the molding and we will get the whole room finished this way. While the paint is still wet, we're gonna go ahead and remove this. You can see the nice line we got. No paint on the carpet. Although I guess if you want new carpet, you could accidentally <laughs> spill on it. I wouldn't mind new carpet. All right, right here, it was super tight to get underneath the molding. We have painted all of the baseboard and trim work around the doors. Now we're going to come in and do the corners. Again, using our angled brush. You go a couple inches out from the wall, just about the width of the brush, and that will give you plenty of room to get your roller in there. And then we're also going to do the ceiling this same color just a little bit brighter than our original color. So same here, we'll just cut it in about the same width and then we can roll the ceiling as well. I'd like to show you how to properly roll your roller, load your roller. Load your roller. <laughs> <laughs> you want to, roll it right into your pile of paint and then up here on these ridges just roll it back and forth this will make sure that it gets evenly coated you don't want to load your brush too much you can also turn it this way just to make sure both ends really get covered and that is how you load your brush you don't want it wet and dripping so that should be perfect when we're done you can save your rollers in a Ziploc bag or wrap it in cellophane, saran wrap, and keep it in your fridge. And it's really handy to have on hand for touching up down the road. All right, we're rolling the ceiling now. I did want the ceiling painted too. You can see like the white we had our house painted when we moved in, it just looks dirty and dingy. So. This one's just brighter. It's gonna make the space feel a lot brighter. And um, what we do is we start around the edges of the room where we've cut in, just roll really close and carefully. And then you want to make sure you do the whole ceiling at one time, because if you let it dry and come in again, it might pull up the paint or you 
just when know you'll see you would also see marks where you stopped and started right so just make sure you have time to do the whole room and you know it's not taking that much time to do this much of the ceiling and I just mm -hmm. have a little bit more yeah maybe 10 minutes yeah another thing is you want to have it on a nice big stick the paint stick when you're painting. It makes it so much easier. And you can see we've got Little Miss over here painting for the first time rolling her own wall. Now that the ceiling is done, we're gonna move towards the walls. The tip we have to offer for the walls is long, even strokes. To get those long, even strokes with the roller, it helps to have your roller on a long paint pole. Um, once we apply the paint to the wall, we take it from the bottom to the top and do one continuous stroke, spreading out um, any imperfections or lines that we may have gotten from first applying the paint to the wall. When I get closer to this edge, I'm going to flip it this way so that I don't have the metal by the wall. And that's going to let me get nice and close. We are ready to do our accent wall. We painted the whole rest of the room white, including the ceiling. And now this wall, we're going to paint navy. And we are just taping it off to get prepared. And we love using frog tape. It just gets nice, crisp results. And when we start painting, we will come back in and show you our trick to getting a nice crisp line. Especially on a textured yes. ceiling. You in see addition ceiling? to the tape. Yes. <laughs> It'll turn out great, even with that textured ceiling. We have the entire feature wall here, maxed masked off and because of this textured ceiling we're going to seal the edge of the tape with the same paint color that we did on the ceiling and so what we're going to do is just place a little bit of that same color right along the edge of the tape and it just needs to be a little thin bit and what it's going to do is if it does bleed against that textured ceiling it will bleed onto the white ceiling so the white will go on to the white. And so it will not show. Yep. And once this dries, then we'll come and paint our feature wall. The um, white ceiling paint that we put up there against the tape is now dry. So we are ready to cut in with our color for our accent wall. And we're just gonna use the brush and go right up there to the tape line. This color here is called Hale Navy Benjamin Moore Color. Um, we do have it mixed in a bare paint because that's the paint we love to use. But you get this beautiful blue color going across there. The walls have been cut in and now little miss, she couldn't wait to get her hands on that roller. This is her first time paint, well, yesterday when we painted white, but this is her first experience painting walls and she's having a heyday. Oh dear, don't oh, go no. too high. <laughs> I'll get yes. that part. <laughs> she's getting a little paint happy. Good job. Oh, you're doing a beautiful yes, job. Nice, long yes, nice long rolls. Okay, load it again. Okay. We just did the second coat of paint on the wall and you want to make sure to take the tape off while the paint is still wet. That way you won't pull any dry paint off the wall. And I want you to see how nice and crisp that line is. The key to getting a nice crisp line is to do that. A strip of paint with the ceiling color and then your wall color. Beautiful. 
We hope you enjoyed these tips for learning how to paint a room. I love these crisp lines you can see back there. Oh, yes. Nice crisp lines. <laughs> We're such perfectionists she's, she's that it just makes me feel about that. that. <laughs> if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell so you can be notified when new videos are released. Um, you will find information in our description about supplies we've used and information about social media if you want to follow us there. And here at Sunnyside Design. Oh, wait, oh, wait. wait. She wants to add something else. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I was just going to say, keep your eye posted because this oh. is just phase one of this bedroom makeover. So keep your eye peeled. We're going to do a brand new dresser makeover, a brand new bed, a built-in built in. Yeah. that anybody can do. It's not way out there so. <laughs> yeah Stay there's tuned. lots of fun projects and this room is going to be super chic when yeah. we're done it's going to be cute yep so <laughs> now as always yeah <laughs> here at sunnyside design you can say it with me we, we hope, hope to, to bring, bring your home, home to the, the sunny, sunny side, side of the street <laughs>